kings in the building, raise your hand. All my fathers in the building, raise your hand. The kings, the soldiers, go to war. Kings, the martyrs that die. The kings that never fear. Kings around the world, the kings that live and strive to feed kids. My king, Jedediah, my king, Messiah, Martin Luther King. Malcolm X King, John F. Kennedy King, Rakim King, James Baldwin King, Dante Winslow and Sam Farge King, Dan Steve King, Gene Corey King, Leroy Downs King, everybody, my kings, my fathers, my soldiers, my brothers, my uncles, my soldiers, my military soldiers fight war by my kings, my fathers, my brothers, my lovers, my hungers that provide for their kids, my king, kings, you believe great king kings if you believe you can be a king kings in heaven on their way coming down kings in the womb kings to make rounds kings kings I'm a self-proclaimed philosopher, always questioning our existence. Who we are and why we're here is what I want to know. I also see myself as an exhorter and spend a considerable amount of time trying to encourage others to believe in themselves. With this in mind, I implore you to consider the what, the when, and the how of your existence. What, in your opinion, is really going on in this world of ours? Is it love, peace, and happiness? Or is it hostility, chaos, and despair? When do the memories of your past and the fears of an unknown future cause your optimism to give way to the negativity that is easily brought about by our thoughts alone? How do you feel about the metaphorical cards that you're being dealt on a day-to-day -day basis? Do you usually receive a winning hand, or are you getting a bunch of useless cards most of the time that have little or no value at all? Now the what's, the wins, and the how's are my own philosophical inquiries, and here's how I view them. Everything works out exactly as it should when we take part in the work. We must be prepared, however, for the outcome to possibly take a long, long time, and for the results to not necessarily be what we desired or expected. Life is fair. It doesn't always seem to be because we've been trained to focus on self and not on the relativity of our situations. We be so busy asking why is this happening to me that we don't even consider how our response to what's happening will affect somebody else. After all, everybody's going through stuff all the time. And when we lose sight of that reality, our stuff will always be bigger and more difficult to resolve than everybody else's. Sometimes we feel blessed by the lessons we've learned because they help us to see the role we played in causing whatever happened to take place. Yet more often than not, we feel the need to stand guard against the conflict and the pain that might occur. What we might consider is doing the best we can with what we have and then viewing the outcome not as what it should or should not be, but as what it is. Who am I is one part of the we. Why I'm here is to contribute my gift and my talent to the welfare of all. 
Ironically, it's all about us, not just me. If we continue to remind ourselves that taking things personally and hinders our growth, it becomes easier for us to live life as it is and not how we think it should be. We can't change what others say or do, but we can accept them for who they are and do what we can to be of service to them with or without their help. Why? Because ultimately, that's the only benevolent choice we have.
Thank you.